welcome back to Spec. Today I want to show you how I created my Sons of Phoenix Primera Space Marines candles and it's quite simple. First thing I did was got some steel wire about 2 mil thick and we're going to be cutting this down. I need some clippers. So I cut this down into strips which are tall enough to put in a glass uh, or a cup, whatever size it is handy for you. There's nothing specific here. And what I'm doing here is just bending the ends so that when I place it inside the cup of water to cool uh, the glue very quickly, that will just work quite nicely so it doesn't drop in, you can't fish it out. So talking of hot glue, What I'm doing is feeding the hot glue, oh sorry, feeding the <laughs> wire into the hot glue nozzle and gently pull out just as I um, you know, pull the trigger from the hot glue gun. Now the idea is here is to only start when the glue starts dripping from the gun itself. And that's going to simulate the effectiveness of like the wax, uh, you know, the wick being dipped into the wax. Normally when they're making candles they do that process multiple times, but you only have to do it once. Now the thickness Oh, the di diameter of the glue gun uh, nozzle really kind of um, dictates the thickness of your candles. But the quicker you do pull this out, the thinner the candles will be. So to get it consistent and even, you know, just take your time. And then you just put that into a glass of water or a cup of water, whichever one it is, and the little hooks will hold it up. Now I'm showing you here a piece of wire which is bent uh, and way too long just to show you the effects. So as you can see when you take this out it's uneven. Um, you can see it more so when I stand it up here. It doesn't work too well but I'll try and save it and see what I can do with it. But the glue is uneven on each side and the steel isn't covered. Once they've cooled, I then move on to painting uh, what will be the candle wax, which is the portions of which have the hot glue. And choose whatever colour you want, you know, just get cheap paints and just put them straight on there. It's no problem. The Sons of the Phoenix, they do tend to have red candles, um, but I don't think that would make any sense for the Reavers, so I'll just change that colour when I get there. But for now, I'm just going to do a variety of different colours. Just take your time. Once you're done, um, just check them over and anywhere you've got some silver just come back and um, paint over. A good thing is about these is they still maintain their flexibility and rigidity if you do need to bend them into any shape. So I'll start cutting them down, um, just the red ones, just want to see what happens if I try to add the glue to it. Now afterwards I figured out this was a bit of a mistake because it makes it harder to create the flame on top of the candle. It's a lot more fine manipulation. But as I'm doing this at the time, um, I'm thinking, you know, of various different candle sizes, I'm not too worried, um, just what looks good. So there's no real measurements there. Just make sure they don't roll off and disappear. So very easy to drop after all that work. So when I get to this last section here, it almost already looks like a candle. So all I do is just take off the wire part and keep the rest. I'll just paint that part on top. As you can see there, it really does really look like a candle. It's the effect that we want. Move it closer. So creating the flame. What I do here is I keep the glass of water close by and I'm just touching the nozzle of the hot glue gun on to the um, candle, taking it away and dunking it very quickly. It's kind of like the flame effect we use for the flame flamethrowers, exactly the same. <laughs> Something I've figured out real quick here if you don't want this to fly everywhere, is as you cut them, to kind of cut the top so they don't just fly off. And just repeat this process.
thing I like about this is you get random effects each time. It does look very different. <laughs> One other thing I quickly learned is if you're cooling and just um, basically moving back to the glue gun very rapidly, you get these like really cool looking spider web strands. It might be something I have to figure out to use in the future, but not for now. So once they're done, they're cooled. Uh, just take your colours that you want to use for the flame and start painting it, just the top section. You can see here I'm just using the orange. And uh, just going right there. Let's leave them to dry. I mean, if you do get kind of um, little sections there, uh, which kind of like strand off, you could always just pick them off. Uh, sometimes I leave them on because they do look interesting. Who's to say it isn't a filament? I don't know. It's 40k flame, so you know, it's from the future. It could be totally different. <laughs> right. This big chunk here is mainly for experimentation. I just wanted to see what I could do with it. Um, you know, just to see what the effects are. You could put this probably in a, I don't know, a temple scene, a cultist temple scene or something. An embrasure or something. I'm not, not too certain. Once you're done, uh, come back in with the yellows. Or just the lighter colour, or lighter colour of the version that you're working with. And just, it will be what a heavy dry brush will do the equivalent for this. So I only touch the raised areas. And you start to see it's really come into life there. Because remember, these are really small, so you want a lot of contrast to make it pop. Whereas if you go very kind of transitional colors, you, you won't see it from uh, a distance from the edge of the table. I mean, even this is looking okay using that same technique. Hey. Looks like a beginning of a flame tornado. Yeah, this one here, I'm just messing with a bit more intense color to see what I can get from it. As you can see, I lay the brush flat and just go along uh, the direction of the flame of the candle itself. You can see I've got other colours here. A lovely green flame one. Now this probably would have worked better with kind of a white colour maybe. Not too certain. But you know, experimentation there, it's no problem. Let's have a look. Now with a purple flame, I've just changed the colour there because this is a really good contrasting colour for Chaos, especially Death Guard. As you can see there, with that simple purple touch, it looks good. Pick off any extra bits you got there, the strands, and just make it clean. Okay, come in with a little touch of white. If you're going to do this, just stay right at the base. Try not to go too far with it. What you want is where the center of the flame would be, and that's that's all. The hottest part. And that's very comic book style, but when you have it all together like that, it does look really nice. And I just continue doing that for the rest of them. Now this technique doesn't quite work for all of the candles, just the ones that got like a lot of that lighter colour on, it makes more sense. Whereas if you've got a lot of the base colour, 
come through, it just doesn't work too well. I just try to stick to the bright colours. And there you go. That's what I've ended up with due to those candles. And uh, it's turned out okay, so it takes seconds. Well, I've enjoyed my time. Hope you have enjoyed your time. This is the Inspect. PC out.